After the excitement of the cobbles, the peloton heads to southern Belgium and the Netherlands for the Ardennes Classics. Taking place over the course of a week, these three races give a chance for the climbers and punchers to shine, with hilly courses featuring numerous climbs. The first of the three Ardennes Classics is the Amstel Gold Race, which takes place in the southern Dutch province of Limburg, featuring an astonishing 34 climbs over the course of 261 kilometers. Amstel Gold includes the Netherlands' steepest road in the Kuytenberg, with a maximum gradient of 22%. In previous editions, the Kouwburg has been the most important climb in the race, with the finish coming just after its summit. But for this year, the race organizers have moved the finish, taking the Kouwburg out of the finale and instead using a flat final 5 kilometers after the Bemelerberg, potentially giving the faster finishers a chance to regain contact. Three days later, and the peloton crosses the border back into Belgium for Flesch Wallon. 200 kilometers in length, this race is all about one climb, the Mur de Huy. This 1.2 kilometer climb averages 10% and maxes out at a brutal 26%, and is tackled three times during the race with the finish line at the top of the final ascent. Flesh Wallon almost always comes down to a mass charge up the Mur de Huy, with the eventual winner needing to combine explosive climbing with perfect timing, as those who attack too early on this steep climb will normally fade before the line. The final and most prestigious race of the Ardennes Classics is Liège Baston Liège, nicknamed La Doyenne or the Old Lady. This race dates back to 1892 and is the oldest of cycling's five monuments. Featuring longer climbs than Amstel Gold or Flesch, Liège is generally more suited to GC riders rather than punchers, with a small group often coming to the line. The Côte de la Redoute is the most famous climb on the course, with a maximum gradient of 22%, but the crucial action is often saved for the Côte de Saint-Nicolas, which comes with just 6 kilometers to go. There is also a long uphill drag towards the finish line in Anse, which can often be used as a launching pad for late attacks before a left-hand corner and a flat couple of hundred meters to the line. 